Hi and welcome back to a boat called Wanda. As I mentioned last week, I'm going away on holidays at the end of this week, so it's going to be quite a short week in terms of what I can achieve and what I can finish for this week. Now like last week, there's a lot of different tasks that I need to do and it's quite jumpy to go from one thing to the next um, as I'm progressing through each of those cutouts. So last week's update may have been a little bit jumpy because of that. It's actually quite difficult to edit down all of my week's work into 20 minutes. So I think with this update, I'll try and be a little bit more structured in terms of what I'm doing so that uh, perhaps the video is a little bit more flowing. Okay, so what I think I can achieve this week, um, ideally I'd love to be able to get all of the foam and all of the laminate on that big piece of foredeck because I'm really dying to see um, you know, how stiff it is once that's all laid. So I'm going to shoot for that, but I'm not sure if I'll, if I'll achieve all of that for this week. But definitely what I can accomplish and what I want to try is um, filling up those four sections that I've cut out and I've tied the top skin to the bottom skin. So I think I can do those this week, fill them up and laminate over the top. The other thing that I'd like to make a good start on is the port side Genoa track. There's a large section there that's being lifted up, uh, including the hole in the, the lower skin, which means there's that large hole in the deck just around that midship cleat. So that's something I'd like to put back together this week, at least get that hole on the underneath side uh, repaired and patched up so that I can lay core down onto the top skin. So you might remember I've got this cutaway here from the bottom skin which what I had to do in order to get the remainder of that plywood out of that cavity. So I need to put this back together now. So this is the piece that came out before and I should be able to push it back in as one piece. I just need to clean it up and then I can make some thickened epoxy and just sort of tag it in to hold it up there. Then once it's tagged in, I can feather back the edges and put some proper fiberglass tape to hold it in position from underneath. And then I can do the same from the top side. Right, let's see how this uh, piece has been tacked in place. So I did this last, thing last night before leaving. And I just need it to be held in place good enough so that I can um, just grind around the edges a little bit and then laminate it with some tape and then uh, also a piece across the entire area. Well, I laid up five layers of matting on a piece of plywood yesterday so that I can do a, a proper measure of the thickness that that generates. Um, so this is just nine millimeter plywood and here are my five layers. So I can now um, just cut this in half and then I can measure the profile and get a much more accurate uh, reading of uh, how thick these five layers of mat um, create. Okay, let's see, so 9mm wood, I take the thickest part right in the middle, so that's 12.5, uh, 12.5 take 9, so yeah, it's only creating 3.5mm of um, deck really, and the target is to create up to 5mm, because the deck was laid at 5mm, so if I can come in at say four and a half, that'll give me just enough clearance to lay a little bit of skim so that I can keep the original um, curvature of the, the deck. So, yeah, I need to rethink the layout. This, this is not quite right. 
Okay. okay, well I got my delivery of new uh, fiberglass mat yesterday which I brought back to the yard today. So this is uh, 1200 GSM triaxial and so I think the first thing I'll do is make another uh, test patch up by laying down this mat um, and then checking that depth because I'm looking to get about 4.5 millimetres of, of layup. So I'll, um, start, um, I'll start that in a sec and it'll be dry tomorrow for me to check. Um, so yesterday what I did was finished tagging or tying the um, upper and lower skins of the deck all around the foredeck, so that's finished now. And I put that um, small cutout piece back in, I'd sort of tagged that in place and then laminated the underside of that with some chop strand mat. So I think I'll just have a look at that now to see how that's set. Okay, so there are the new sections that I um, tied down yesterday. I've got this one over here. And then on this side, there's that and the other side of that big four deck piece. So as you can see there, it leaves behind a, a bit of a ridge. And what I need to do is sand that back and take off the bulk of that ridge. And then once it's sanded back, it looks like this. So you can barely notice any uh, laminates here. It's nice and smooth so that um, it won't create any bumps when I put laminate back over this. So that's what I need to do to those new areas. So overall, there's actually 16 pieces of areas that have been tied where I've tied the upper and lower skin together. Okay, and there's that cut out section yesterday, which I uh, put back in and then laid up. So that's just chop strand mat, 600 GSM. It's only one layer, just really to hold it in place. And then I probably need to put some more lay up on the other side, on the top side. Well, it's time to fill up these cavities with the foam and um, put some laminate on these. I've been leaving them for a while, but they're ready to start now. Uh, so the aim here is, I've got some baking pa paper stuck down here, is just to use this as a template to get the um, perimeter of that foam piece. And then I can also mark out the different pieces of matting that I'll need to cut up. Okay, with these foam trenches that I've cut out, I need to shave a little bit off the thickness. At the moment, they come out as 15 millimetres, which is perfect. But in those trenches, I've got two layers of um, cloth going around those ridges there to tie the top and bottom skins together. So with those two 300 GSM um, pieces of tape, it makes up about 0.8 of a millimetre, I guess, in thickness. So. I really want to take off about a millimetre in thickness of this all over. Because I want it to be even, I'm going to try using the planer. Um, but, you know, it remains to be seen how well that cuts this foam. So it's a little bit of an experiment. But uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, that's good. That's a fairly even 14 millimetres uh, all the way along. Oh, I'm pleased with that. I wasn't sure how well the planer was going to work on this foam. Um, I was wondering if it would be like a consistent, even plane, or if it would be a bit wonky based on the resilience of that foam. But uh, that's really good. It's clean. OK, I'll go and do a dry fit. Just a little bit of a trim required on this. Uh, and I really like this. This is my belt sander. It's got a mount so that you can mount it onto a bench like so and it's just plugged into the Triton workstation so I've got the sort of big kill switch here. It's quite easy to use. Right, now to put this piece of foam in. Got myself all set up here. Okay, that looks about right. Now I'll just coat the underside of this with some pure epoxy. Okay.
Okay, that looks good. Okay, well I'll come back to that tomorrow, I'll let it dry overnight, and then I will just put some um, epoxy filler that's sort of a little bit runny down the side of this crack here, and then I can laminate over a few, four layers of laminate to get it back to deck level. And um, there's four of these to do. Okay, well it's the end of my day, so I'm gonna head off. Um, I've got some of the core drawing on deck, so when I come back tomorrow I can take a look at that. Um, I've just come back to that test layout that I did this morning, which has dried nicely, and uh, it's looking good. So when I use that 1200 GSM triaxial, um, I'm getting about 4.5 millimeters in, in thick thickness, which is bang on what I'm looking for. And the other test I did, which was just with one piece of uh, chopped strand, and then a piece of that 1200 triaxial gave me about 1.75 millimeters. And again, that's very good because I'm gonna use that to put directly above the phone for the first uh, layer that goes into that cutout space that doesn't quite start tagging over the edges yet. So anyway, I'll come back tomorrow and I'll put some of this down and hopefully that'll be a better match than the one I did last week. So let's see. Okay, so I wanna try and get some laminate on this today before I leave. The blue that you can see along here is some epoxy filler. I've used the same filler that I was using to fill in the pinholes on the hull. Um, it's advertised as being fine for above and below the waterline and so I use that rather than make up my own filler out of uh, epoxy. Okay, so basically this part of the deck has got those tyres on either side so there's a bit of an angle, therefore the, the foam doesn't really butt up against the sides nicely. So just this little uh, margin here has been filled up with some uh, epoxy. So what I want to do now is mark out the sort of contours of the, the bevels that I've made so that I can uh, put some baking paper down and trace them out and then cut them up. So I've just got some things that I'm using as spaces here to try and follow the contours. That actually took a lot longer than expected, as usual. I thought it'd take about an hour to do all that templating up on the deck for that piece, but it actually took just under two hours. So sort of, I had to go around with the ruler and um, use the edge of the ruler to see the contours and then mark where the stages were and then mark around the lines and then trace out into the baking paper. So anyway, it is what it is. So I've got my template here and I'm just gonna start cutting up the five pieces of cloth now. So I've tried a few different approaches for um, marking out and cutting up the cloth. Some of these pieces are difficult to work with because they're large and heavy. So what I've come up with is just basically using knitting needles sort of long thin ones to center that to hold the baking paper onto the cloth just need to make sure that the cloth doesn't bunch up or crease remains as flat as possible okay so now it's just a question of cutting along the edge and I'm sort of cutting from the outside in, so I'll make five cuts on each concentric ring, um, and I'll just swap the template over to the next piece of fabric as I go. Okay, so that's number five, for the topmost piece. I just use this to mark out my peel ply now. The peel ply will be about an inch bigger than this and it will go down on top of everything once it's laminated. Right, it's taking longer than expected as usual, but I've got my cutouts here. I've got five pieces all cut out. 
Um, so I'll go up on the deck now and do a dry fit just to see how they sit into those um, cutouts and uh, I'll take some scissors up there and if I need to do any trimming I'll, I'll do that up there. Right, so I've got all my pieces here. I've done a dry fit and the cutouts look okay. They sort of fit where they're meant to. It's just a matter of doing it now and hoping it turns out the way I planned it to turn out. Okay, so let's start. Okay, well I'm going to end it here for the week. Um, as I said before, it's going to be a short week because I'm going to uh, head off in a few hours on my vacation. So I'm glad that I got that uh, one piece of um, cutout laid up. In the end it was a bit of a mad rush because as I got the fifth layer on, I put my hand on it and it was massively hot. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be that warm. Fortunately, um, Anthony Harrington was here, he was working on the boat next door, so he came and had a look at it. and basically told me that because of the heat and the amount of layup that I was doing, it was um, generating a lot of heat and curing very quickly. So uh, he got on board and helped me out and basically with a roller in one hand and a, um, a brush in the other, he just like basically blitzed it. So anyway, it's all done and it's curing and the temperature's gone right back down again. We put a fan on it for a while to cool it down and in about 15 minutes it was fine. So it was just a real spike in the temperature. Okay, well when I get back from holidays, I've got a feeling that it's not going to take too long to uh, rip into that deck and get the rest done. I feel like progress is going to be a lot faster soon, so, uh, you know, come back and keep watching and we'll see how we get on. Okay, thanks for watching, we'll see you in a few weeks.